Shout out to motherfucking Nico Blitz, the lunch table, man. Gangsta Gibbs at the table eating lunch. Yo, bitch, buy me lunch, bitch. So, Fred, the first time I probably heard about you was probably in 2010. You had a song with XV. Right. And so... XV. Damn. XV, Wichita. So, it was like all the way back then to when, like, you know, I just, like, kept up with you. So, Damn. what's kept you so relevant in hip-hop and in rap despite the fact that you know, radio hasn't necessarily been your success. Right. Um, I think that I kind of, like, carved out a lane, like, for myself, you know? Like, uh, that no other nigga could have did, you know what I mean? I think everybody got their personal success, but I don't think that, like, if any other nigga in the game tried to take my uh, path to success, they wouldn't have made it, you know what I mean? So I'm unique in that regard. Mm-hmm. Um, so Alfredo's out now, obviously. What was the inspiration behind that album? Alchemist. Alchemist is uh, one of my favorite producers of all time, and um, you know, to work with him is like a boy a, bo- a boyhood dream. You know what I mean? Of any rapper, so uh, you know, shout out to Alchemist. He's the inspiration behind the project. You know, um, same way Madlib was the inspiration behind Bandana and Pinata. You know, I think that me and Al like made something that's. <clears throat> on that level, you know what I mean? Like, I made two classics with Otis and a classic with, you know, uh, pro- two classics with Alchemist, you know, you include Fetty, you know what I mean? So, I could die right now, bro. I'm in the, you know, Rap Hall of Fame, you feel me? Top 20 for sure. Definitely. So, uh, Something to Rap About was actually my favorite song on Alfredo. Um, how did you go about getting Tyler, the creator, on that song? Um, I told somebody this earlier, but I think Tyler, like, um, this, he smacked me on the ass on Fairfax, and I didn't like that. <laughs> he did some fruity shit. He did some fruity shit. Man, I don't like that shit, you know what I mean? You did some fruity shit, Tyler, but, you know, you my nigga. You probably the only nigga that could do that shit, and I won't, like, uh, any other nigga, I probably would have smoked that nigga, but... You're too important to the black race and the black movie, mm-hmm. so I didn't smoke you, and I did a song with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's love, man. So it's just that you're simple. Weird ass nigga. So it's that simple. He smacked your ass. He's like, "Yo, let's make a song." I don't like that. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Just like get twisted. Tyler, you're you're fucking. You are not my type. <laughs> but um, we so- got good songs together. You know, even back then... And you, I was on Loiter Squad. Yeah, I was about to say that. You were actually on Loiter Squad, and, you know, you kind of had, like, a little acting thing going on for about, like, yeah. 10, 15 seconds or so. Did you have any um, aspirations of pursuing an acting career? Yeah, Freddie Gibbs coming soon. I just got a lead movie role, so the, the big screen's coming soon, baby. Oh, you shit. Know? Like, action, comedy? All that shit. Action, porn, fucking your bitch. <laughs> Before 2020 ends? I'm fucking everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking your bitch. On camera, nigga. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I fucked your bitch on, cam- on, on camera. I don't want to expose you, bro. I don't want to expose you, bro. I don't got to do you like that. But just know, you know, you know gangsta kids fuck your bitch. You, you, know, know, you know gangsta kids fuck your bitch. Bitch ass nigga. You know, prior to this interview... I don't want to say no names. All good, bro. <laughs> but prior to this interview... Hit me when your nigga play the Lakers, bitch. You mentioned that uh, you actually got a new, another album coming out, 60% Done. Um, can we expect that before 2020? And what's the direction you're going to take for this next before album? 2020. Everything, or before 2020 every, ends. Everything you expected before 2020 came in 2019. <laughs> First of all... <laughs> So fuck 2020. 2020 is the most bullshit year of all time. So nah, you can't expect shit from Gangsta Gears before 2020. But you can expect some shit for Gangsta Gears before 2025. Amen to that. That's how you gotta end it. That's great. That's over with. I'm done. It's over. It's over.